For this video, we're going to be breaking down number 77, offensive tackle and defensive tackle, Jake Wilson of Yorktown High School, class of 2024, highlighted on the screen. Before we dive further into the video, if you like this kind of content, please give a, a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. And if you're considering helping the group even further, think about joining our Patreon for added benefits or using donation links below. Now getting back to Jake, this is a big man, 6'3", 300 pounds, really can engulf defenders with his size, and when he gets his hands locked in, he can really control them. But what impressed me most about him is given his size, he moves relatively well. He's got solid feet. I've seen him in the run game, pulling, getting to the second level, even making some contact at the second level, which is pretty impressive given his size at the high school level. And then pass pro, he also shows he can shadow edge defenders relatively well, including speed rushers. Now things he can work on, he definitely needs to play with better pad level. I think in his stance, he's standing up a little bit too high on contact at times. He's, he's standing up with poor leverage, which makes it harder for him to drive defenders at the point of attack. But those are things that he can work on. And let's go over a couple reps that I like. And this first one, he's highlighted on the right. We're going to see his movement right here. And, and again, given his size, it was pretty impressive to see him pull and that's what you're going to see he pulls right here look at him move pretty well get to that second level keeping his head up and again he's a big boy when he gets his hands on he can really give you these punches these jabs and really spring defenders here and that's what he does he just pretty much knocks down the defender with a single shot springing the running back but again the big thing that impressed me is him moving getting out of his stance look at him pull keeping the head up moves relatively well through the hole keeping his head up to the second level it's a nice little jab there, which puts the defender onto the ground, springing the running back. One more time. Here he is moving again through the hole, head up. Find that at second level defender, put him to the ground right there, springing the running back. Let's go over another play. Here he's highlighted on the right. And again, this is a big boy. When he can down block and he gets his hands locked in and plays with solid leverage, he can drive you and he can seal you off. It really engulfs him. And we're going to see a down block right here. They're going to run behind him, pulling an offensive lineman. So he's got a down block at the point of attack, and you could just see the size right here. It really engulfs the defender. And again, watch him drive his feet and just seals him away, right? That's a really good job right there. That's what you want to see, moving the defender from the point of attack and sealing him off so that he can't cross, he can't go underneath you, and that's what he does here. All right, so strong rep again. This is a down block. Let's show it again. Yeah, we'd love to get him a little bit lower, but he really can engulf defenders and look him drive his feet. Again, a lot of size and mass behind him, and he just seals that defender off. One more time. Drive him, seal him away. That's a strong rep. Let's go to another one. Here he is on the right. And again, you can see on the stance, he's a little bit, he's standing pretty tall right here, but he moves his feet well. And this has got to be a one-on-one -on -one offensive tackle I talked about previously. You got to be able to win these one-on-one -on -one reps and pass protection. And again, here he is. Pretty good job of getting some depth right here. A lot of times you see linemen just go out wide, which opens up lanes to the inside, but he gets some depth to him on his pass set, which is really important. So you see pretty good depth right there. Look at that again. The f he doesn't take that initial, he takes the initial shot really well, shows a good base right there. He doesn't get pushed off, and now it's shadowing with his feet. And again, moving his feet, keeping his hands locked. Again, strong rep right there, and that's what I talk about. For his size, sometimes you see a lot of these big kids in high school, they struggle to move their feet, right? And so that's really important for an offensive lineman to do if you want to hit that next level. Again, getting pretty good depth on the pass drop there. Look at him lock his hands in. He doesn't get pushed off balance and now moving his feet. That's the really important part. Moving his feet at the end right there, shadowing the defender. Let's do it one more time. And look at him shadow the defender at the end right there. Really good. Let's go to the final play. Here he is highlighted one more time. And again, Going up in a pass, uh, pass block set, and let's watch him move again. Here he is highlighted, gets a little bit wide here, but again, some depth, doesn't get pushed off on that, uh, on kind of that bull rush, but look at his pad level. This one's a little bit better, right? He's below the defender here, and now watch him shadow, shadow, right? Really good job 
and shadowing the defender, not getting pushed off balance. Again, there's some potential here. Here he is again on the pass drop, highlighted right there. Again, battling with his hands, but he's playing with better leverage on this rep. And then he shadows the defender. Again, I'm excited to see the growth from this young man. He's going to have to be a really important player on the offensive line heading into this upcoming season.